all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problem maximum performance of a team index number is 1383 and the problem is of hard type problem of the lead code you can see i have given a like over here and like becomes 466 the reason is quite simple this problem is uh, like a very frequent problem in many of the interviews and this problem is actually an interesting problem once you have got the idea how to solve this problem this becomes a quite an interesting one okay so without wasting our time let us begin and before begin uh, before beginning we will just uh, associate some tags with this problem and the tags associated with this problem is like greedy algorithm you must be known for that and also some data structures or you can say the concept of heaps priority queues then you can solve this problem in the best possible way i have used the concept of multi set and uh, priority queue also i have submitted both the approaches like over you can see i have the first uh, the submission run time comes over like this one uh, 192 ms then i have optimized then then it comes 76 then i al also try to optimize for that uh, then it comes out to be 84 okay so it doesn't matter you can solve this problem with the help of multi set or with the help of priority queue let's move further we have been given two integers n and k and the two integers arrays speed and efficiency so we will uh, we will be given two arrays this one and this one that is both have the same length n and every element of the array of this speed is going to denote the speed of the ith engineer and correspondingly the efficiency of this ith engineer and the k is also denoting something let us first read it out there are n engineers numbered from 1 to n speed of i and efficiency of i represent the speed and the efficiency of ith engineer respectively we have to choose at most k note that the term at most k different engineers that is we have to choose at most k different engineers note that the our choosing quantity can be zero can be one and it goes up to k okay at most k different engineers you have to take care for that out of these n engineers to form a team with the maximum performance so what is the definition of performance here let us try to understand that also the performance of a team is the sum of their engineers speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency among the engineers so what is the performance of a team that is sum of the engineer speed that is the chosen engineer values and uh, their sum of their speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency among the chosen engineers and we have to return the maximum performance of a team so this is the performance of a particular chosen type we have to maximize our performance of this team by choosing at most k different engineers and calculating their performance and maximizing our answer every time since the answer can be huge we have to return it modulo this prime number okay if you are not going to understand this entire stuff no need to worry what i'm going to explain this entire thing with the help of examples also and here are the two three examples i will explain each and everything each and every point and what is the reason behind that and how we can optimize this further and what could be the best solution for this problem also talking about the constraint because every time i uh, i love to talk about the constraint because this is going to help us in like a uh, best possible way and it, this is going to be like awesome you must also have to uh, look over the constraints and try to figure it out what type of solution this problem is going to demand it us by looking over the constraints you can see k and n satisfies the relation among itself like k is going to be less than equal to n and n can go at most n power 5 so you can have a o of n log n solution or o of n solution but you cannot have o of n squared solution because this would give us a tle and speed of i is like uh, at most n power 5 and efficiency of i at most n power 8 okay so let us begin to understand this problem with the help of example and we will together build up the best solution for this problem let's move further okay okay so here you can see i have taken the speed array efficiency array for every particular engineer in k equal to 2 we have to choose at most k equal to 2 engineers now uh, for k at most k equal to 2 you can easily see this uh, is uh, actually uh, for choosing at most k equal to 2 you can choose exactly two in, uh, engineers to maximize your performance okay so because we need to maximize our performance and for maximizing our performance we have to choose all the k engineers despite having at most k equal to 2 okay so this is one of the optimization that you need to take care for that despite choosing uh, exactly uh, despite choosing at most k equal to 2 you have to choose exactly k equal to 2 engineer okay now uh, you have to take a, you have to take care for the minimum efficiency you must have noticed over here 
that is the sum of the engineer speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency among the engineers being chosen that is k engineers being chosen now uh, if you look over the efficiency array the values are like random like 5 4 3 then in 9 7 2 there doesn't uh, follow any order like uh, 5 then the so value decreases to 4 then it uh, again decreases to 3 then it rapidly increases to 9 then 7 then this 2 that is the uh, if you look over the values they are not in a specific order then if you choose any particular engineer then his efficiency of i his efficiency of i will have the some value and uh, let's say i need to choose this engineer like uh, from at most k engineers if i am going to trying to choose this engineer it means that uh, for all the engineers let's say this has the minimum value among all the chosen k engineers and if this has the minimum value i need to choose the rest k minus 1 engineers such that whose efficiency should be greater than or equal to this efficiency value okay again i am going to repeat what i have said like uh, let's say i have chosen this particular specific engineer whose efficiency value is eff of i and let's say this is the minimum value among all the chosen k engineers now if this is the minimum value the rest k minus 1 engineers that i am going to choose now must have the efficiency value greater than or equal to this value and uh, the reason is simple that is i have fixed this efficiency as the minimum then the remaining efficiency values according to the question statement should be greater than or equal to this value because the sum of the engineer speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency among the engineers and i have already fixed the minimum efficiency so i need to choose rest k minus 1 engineers whose efficiency value should be greater than or equal to my current minimum efficiency value so this gives me the idea that how we can manage this state we can easily manage this state by sorting this efficiency array uh, sorting this efficiency array if we sort a particular element that is if you place a particular engineer to its specific correct position like if you sort this array 5 4 3 uh, 9 7 2 okay if you sort this array it would become like let's say i am sorting in decreasing order i will also tell the reason behind that 9 7 then it comes out to be 5 4 3 and then it comes out to be 2 this is the decreasing order of the efficiency here i need to sort the pairs of speed according to this pairs according to this values also that is if 9 comes over the first position what is the corresponding value of the speed of this engineer okay so it would come out to be 1 so 9 9's uh, speed that is the engineer whose efficiency is 9 will have the speed with 1 so it this pair will come at the top on sorting this entire on the basis of the efficiency of the ith engineer okay so if i will sort this entire thing on the basis of efficiency and let's say if we have the fixed uh, that is let's say i am coming at the fixed index at this position note that i am coming at index at this position that is the efficiency with value 5 so whatever the k minus 1 engineers should have the efficiency greater than or equal to this 5 must lie over this range okay must lie over this range that is 9 and 7 because this is the minimum efficiency for all the k minus 1 engineers their efficiency must not be going to be strictly less than 5 because so this 4 3 2 should be discarded so this gives me the idea that i am going to sort this efficiency array in non decreasing okay sorry non increasing order that is in decreasing order and if i am going to sort this efficiency array in non increasing order then if at a particular state i have some value then for all the engineers uh, k minus 1 engineers i have to choose this k minus 1 engineers having efficiency value greater than this particular value okay so if you are not going to understand till now no need to worry but i am going to explain this further in detail okay so let's move further okay so you can see i have sorted this efficiency array uh, that is uh, the pair efficiency comma speed on the basis of the efficiency values in non increasing order that is 975432 and their corresponding speeds i have mentioned over here and how this is going to help us let us try to understand that also that is if i will start iterating from the beginning you can see at a specific position that is at a specific value of index let's say i am at this 4 
okay so this is the value so four uh, the four is the efficiency value of this engineer and 10 is the speed value of that engineer so i have the first three that is first four values 9 7 5 4 and the corresponding speeds 1 5 2 10 what i am going to do to solve this problem is let's say uh, it is obvious that k is going to be like greater than or equal to 1 so i am just taking it out i am just fixing one element let's say i am going to fix this element if I am going to fix this element and say that uh, this uh, engineer is going to be included in our at most k value that is exactly k chosen engineers and this engineer is going to be included in that k chosen engineers and this value is going to be like the minimum efficiency value that is 4. It signifies that now I have to choose k minus 1 engineers that is k I have to choose k engineers now I have to choose k minus 1 engineers and now I have to choose from among all these three engineers that is if k is 2 I have to choose um, any one engineer from this one okay so this is going to uh, like the entire method start iterating from the i equal to 0 up to the end of this i equal to n minus 1 and at, at a specific index let's say I am going to choose this ith engineer and if I am going to choose this ith engineer and the values are going to be sorted in non-increasing order and if I am going to choose this ith engineer, I have the minimum efficiency value exactly equal to the my current efficiency value that is here it is coming out to be 4 you can easily see. Now I have to choose exactly k minus 1 engineers to the left of it. Okay, now here comes another important thing and the important thing is the performance of the team is the sum of their engineer speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency value. I have already considered the minimum efficiency value. What about the some of their engineer speeds now k minus 1 engineer should be chosen and we have to choose k minus 1 engineer such that their sum of their speed should be maximized so that our performance can be maximized because we have to maximize our performance and to maximize our performance i have to just do the product sum of their speeds multiplied by minimum efficiency value minimum efficiency value is, is i am going to fix this for every ith engineer starting from i equal to 0 up to i equal to n minus 1 but we have to choose k minus 1 engineers and that k minus 1 engineer should be chosen must have their speeds exactly equal to uh, maximum maximum value that is you have to choose maximum uh, sum of the speeds of k minus 1 engineers and if here k is equal to 2 i have to choose exactly one engineer among all these values whose sum of their speed is maximum that is if k is equal to 1 I have to choose exactly one engineer whose speed is going to be like maximum you can easily see the engineer that is going to be chosen here is 9 because 9 has the okay so 9 is actually the efficiency value so I have to choose among 1 5 2 then I, have to, I am going to choose 5 5 has the maximum speed so I will choose 5 and uh, another engineer that is for I have to choose 2 engineers I have already chosen this engineer this is the uh, already chosen engineer I am going to now choose k minus 1 engineers and if k is 2 I have to choose uh, exactly one more engineer so I will choose this engineer whose efficiency is 7 and the speed is 5 so you can easily see 7 is the efficiency and 5 is the speed and another engineer have 4 is the efficiency and 10 is the speed you can easily see the minimum efficiency is coming out to be 4 and the sum we need to take care for that is the this value okay so this is going to be the entire method and uh, this is going to help us because every time I am going to fix one engineer and check it out what is the k minus 1 engineers I can choose such that their speed sum of the speed of k minus 1 engineer should be maximized this is going to be a really really important thing so let's move further to the coding part I have already submitted the code right so let's say I am talking about 84 ms code I will also talk about all the codes at uh, uh, 76 ms or ok I will talk about this one also so let us talk about for the multi set code ok so what I have done is I have also taken LL as long long because this might exceed the integer my maximum value so and mod as this value prime number answer as 0 and store the pairs efficiency and speed for a particular engineer and sort on the basis of efficiency value you can easily see I have sorted in non increasing order so that the speed efficiency which has the maximum value comes at the top 
and uh, we have to store the sum of k maximum speeds up to the current index. Note that I am not going to store the k maximum speed here. I, have, I think I have uh, commented something wrong. k minus 1 maximum speed because I am already going to fix this particular 1 inch in here for every index. And multiset is going to store the list of values of all the k minus 1 engineers. Okay. And that k minus 1 engineer should be like from the maximum k minus 1 engineers. Having their speeds going to be maximized. Okay. That is, let's say I have the engineers like uh, 7, 5, 3, 2, and these are the list of speeds. And if k is going to be 2, this is going to store only these two things. And if k is going to be 3, this is going to store only these three things. That is the multiset. And sum as 0. That is sum is going to store the sum of first k minus 1 maximum speeds. And start from i equal to 0 and i equal to. And I think you must be understanding the concept of uh, like uh, sorting uh, in non-increasing order. And you can easily see this is going to benefit us. Because each time I am going to fix this particular ith engineer. And if I am going to fix this particular ith engineer. Then this is the minimum value of that chosen uh, among k chosen engineers. Now I have to choose k minus 1 chosen engineer. Okay, this is going to be like really important for this problem. And this minimum efficiency is my current value. And sum is like uh, sum of k minus 1 engineers speeds plus my current engineer speed. You can see this is the going to be like entire sum. And I am going to maximize our answer with this value. And again, I am going to insert this into my multiset and if this is going to be like more than the k minus 1 that is uh, my current I am keeping the track of k minus 1 maximum speeds and if uh, on inserting this element it my set size is going to be like greater than k minus 1 it means that I need to pop one element out and I am going to pop out the minimum element that is the engineer having the minimum speeds minimum speed okay so this is going to keep track of all the answers uh, that is going to be included in our answer and finally return the integer value after taking this modulus okay i'm also going to talk about the priority q code okay the first these things are going to be like same and here also this is the k minus 1 and i'm going to take the priority q in non increasing order that is in decreasing order but uh, only difference is i'm going to push out the elements in with negative value minus of this store of i dot second and this is exactly equal to same because in the previous case you can see the multi set is going to store in like a non decreasing order like 2 3 4 5 5 6 7 and like that but priority q stores in decreasing order so to keep track of first k minus 1 maximum speeds i'm going to push up the elements in with a negative sign okay and all the th these things are almost same and the bus the only difference is the signs you can see i have just added some plus equal to s dot top and here i have just decremented because uh, i'm just pushing the elements with negative sign also okay so this is going to be like accepted code so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video